so in this video I am going to run through my six top tips for a clean cage and litter trained guinea pigs. Now this video is kind of an update from a video I did on my old channel years and years ago now and I watched that video back this morning and it was shocking. So hopefully this video is going to be a lot better informed and a lot better presented as well. I will just say that it's not possible to 100% litter train guinea pigs. You are always going to have accidents, usually in the form of poops. <laughs> <laughs> but if you follow my tips then I promise you it will make your life easier it will be easier and quicker to clean up after them on a day-to-day -day basis and the cage will be kept cleaner and nicer looking in between your big cage changes so first of all use litter trays and think carefully about where you position them I'm sure just by watching your guinea pigs you'll kind of get an idea for where they're most likely to go to the toilet and this is usually in darker areas of the cage such as corners or under hidey huts and places like that now if you put your litter trays in these areas then without any training needed they will naturally be more likely to use them than if you put them just anywhere and it's also better works for the fen shui of the cage to have them tucked away in corners tip number two is make sure you fill your litter trays with hay <laughs> it is a known fact that guinea pigs like to poo and pee where they eat which doesn't sound like a very nice habit for any animal to have but it's just what they do so by filling up your litter trays with hay you encourage them to go to the toilet in that area as well and as for an absorbent layer underneath the hay you can get litters and care fresh and things like that but i think plain old newspaper works just as well and if you can get your hands on a free unlimited supply of it then it works great and that's what I've always used for my piggies litter trays. Tip number three, size. Now I'm sure you've all seen those little cute corner litter trays that you can get which might work for smaller size cages but to be honest if you've got a big cage and you provide your guinea pigs with lots of space which is recommended you're going to also need big litter trays. As you can see all three of my piggies are in this one at the moment and they're quite happily munching together. Now I have tried those corner litter trays before but to be honest they just don't work. It's too small a space for them to sit and eat hay and if they do do the business there they're just going to get really dirty really quick and need changing out multiple times a day and as well they're often really tricky to fix to the cage especially if you have a DIY cage and they're often quite shallow your guinea pigs can just jump in and out really easily and they'll probably scatter hay all over the place and you can't really fit that much hay in there so you'll probably overfill them which will just create more mess around the cage anyway I recommend instead of those corner ones you go for the standard cat litter trays which immediately give your guinea pigs more space they have to jump in and out of them so they don't get hay scattered everywhere and you can fit more hay in there for them to eat because we want to encourage them to eat as much hay as possible now if you want to go one better and have a bit more of a customised even bigger option for a litter tray you can do something like this which is actually an underbed storage box from B&Q which I created these entrances in for them to use. I do have a video on this which will appear on the screen now if you want to go and check it out. At number four we have to think about the rest of the cage as well. So if you're watching this video you probably have a large cage like me, maybe you have it lined in fleece and that's why you want to keep the mess confined to certain spaces. But all these tips also apply for anyone whose guinea pigs live in a smaller cage but who wants to take them out for lots of floor time so that they can get the exercise they need and without any accidents happening on the carpet for example. Okay, so encouraging your guinea pigs to use the litter trays is partly providing them with a contrast of substrates. So by having the soft fleecy material and then the boxes with hay in, they're going to naturally go for the hay and naturally that's where they're going to poo and pee because they don't really like going to the toilet on fabric. It's just something that they don't naturally do. So the same thing applies to floor time. You can just leave the carpet how it is or maybe you want to put down a just a single layer of protective fleece. Having that contrast of materials and having the litter trays with the hay in will mean that they're more likely to use them for pooing and peeing in. <laughs> 
So in the same line of thinking, it's also really important to keep those other areas of the cage nice and clean and tidy. Now I probably sweep up spare poops maybe once or twice a day and by doing this I'm just kind of keeping the distinction between where the mess is and where the clean is and that just again encourages them not to go and poo and pee outside of those litter trays. Tip number five is to do certain things that encourage your guinea pigs to use litter trays and kind of reinforce that training which hasn't really happened because we're just relying on their natural instincts. <laughs> okay so for example one thing that you can do is when you've had your guinea pig out for lap time and it's getting toward the time when you're putting them back in the cage they probably need to go to the toilet so instead of putting them just anywhere in the cage actively place them in the litter tray. So they'll probably want to go and have a pee and they're more likely to do it in the litter tray um, as soon as you've put them in the cage. So this is a really good way of just enforcing that that's where they're meant to go to the toilet. Another thing that you can do is when you clean out the cage or when you just clean out the litter trays is put some old poops in there. So, so these areas kind of keep the smell of where they've been before and again it's all about enforcing for them where they should go and where they shouldn't go. So last but not least, at number six, I recommend that you use waterproof pads in the cage. I absolutely love pads. They make it so much easier to clean out the cage. It means that I don't have to do a big cage clean and change the liners out as often. And they mean that I can just change out the pads when I need to and keep smells down and keep mess down. <laughs> so as you can see in my cage, I have pads in the cozy items. I have that big pad there, which is because they tend to go along that edge of the cage. And I also have a pad underneath their wooden hidey here. What are you doing with your feet, Piggy? <laughs> they are um, at strange angles, aren't they? <laughs> but yes, I love pads. They really help me keep on top of um, keeping the cage nice and clean and neat looking as well. It can almost feel like you've done a full cage clean when you kind of shake off the liners that you've already got, put them back where they are, and then put down nice new cozies and fresh pads. It can feel like you've done a total cage clean, but it's only taken you five minutes, if that. So just to summarise the cleaning that I do, in case I get asked questions on it, I sweep up poops maybe once or twice a day, I clean out the litter trays every day because it's important to make sure they've always got that fresh hay, I change the pads maybe every five days on average, though it depends where they are in the cage and how messy they get. And I change the liners probably once a fortnight, which isn't that often. So if you find yourself changing your cage liners loads or you're just getting sick of having a messy cage, then please try out some of my tips and let me know if they worked for you. That's everything for this video now. I hope you enjoyed it and please like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to talk through how I made the cage liners for the guinea pig's new cage. And I can't believe I haven't made cage liners before because the method that I use is super easy.